Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back. I'm George Pearson. I do want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. This video is about how to create a website, how to build a website. We're going to start from scratch. I'm going to use an HTML editor. The HTML editor that I use is free. It's by SeaMonkey. There will be a link below. If you do use this HTML editor, you will have to download the browser, but you do not need to use the browser in order to use the editor, and it's an excellent editor. I use an HTML editor for one main reason, and that main reason is that everything that I create, all my web pages, all my websites, are all saved. I'm going to show you how to use it. It's easy, it's quick, it's just as simple as a regular site builder and and just as good. This video, by the way, is going to be a two-parter and the reason is, for one thing, there's quite a lot of information, but uh, the second part is, uh, is very important because I'm going to show you some absolute ways to drive traffic and I'm talking about some home runs as far as what's called SEO on-site SEO. So the first part is going to be building that website. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks about creating a comparison website. And I'm using a comparison website for uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, you can plug in two of pretty much anything on a comparison website. So it doesn't matter if you're what you're comparing, this format it should work. So in addition, so in addition to getting a website, we're also going to be getting a template, so to speak. So that template is going to allow you to plug in other products, similar products. It's going to allow you to so you so then that means that you'll be able to create these websites much quicker and much faster and much easier once you get the first one done because then that's going to act as your template for the second and the third and the fifth and the, and the 100. So I do want to get right to it and but just a reminder that this channel is about growing your YouTube channel as well as making money online as an affiliate. So if either of those two are of interest to you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. Do that right now. Ring the bell and then you're going to get notified when these videos are published. So let's get right to it. I've taken us to my HTML editor and this one is by SeaMonkey and SeaMonkey is free. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a table which is essentially going to be a container for my website. So I'm going to create a container for the website. Uh, I'm going to make it 800 wide. I do not want a border so I'm eliminating the border. I'm going to go to advanced settings because I simply want to center it. So I'm going to click click align and center and then that's going to center my box and then this box this is a way that I was taught many many years ago uh, from an actual website designer or creator or whatever that you build if you're going to build an HTML website you're supposed to build it trying to create boxes and you build boxes within boxes. So that's what I'm sharing with. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do a header. And the header is going to be some kind of an image and some text over here. In order to do that, I've got to, I want to insert another table. I want the table to be one row, two columns, 100%, no border. Okay, so I, this and I'm going to have some text and an image. The, the site is a comparison site, so whoever's going to come to this site, whoever's going to be visiting this site is kind of um, in a state of um, confusion, or at least they've got a question or whatever they've got a, the problem is that they're trying to figure out which, which do they want to buy, or which do they want to find out more about. And so I'm looking for a confused image, let's say. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take us to a site called Pixabay. And this is Pixabay. And I want to put on Confused. So Pixabay, I can use it for images. I can use it for photos. I can use it for vector graphics, illustration, and videos. And Pixabay, uh, the Pixabay license is free for commercial use. No attribution required. So I can use 
whatever is on Pixabay, any old, any old way I want, and I do not have to give it. I do not have to give attribution. So I'm, gonna, I'm typing in confused, and these are the images. Now, the images at the top are not free. These are from Shutterstock, and they're typically going to be from Shutterstock or Canva or whatever. They are not free, but anything below that top line, these are all free to use. And I'm going to use this right here. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody that's confused. I click on the image. I'm going to click free download. I don't need. It's going to be about 440 wide, so that's all I need. I click download, and I'm downloading it. This is, if you can see down here, confused. Then I'm going to go to a site called Imgur. And I've already created this. I will show you how I create that a little bit later. That's going to go on the site as well. And I'm taking this here because this is typically where you would be landing. And I'm going to click on New Post. And I, I'm sorry for the slow internet. And then on a new post, I can simply drag and drop confused. I should be able to. There right, we go. Just dragging and dropping confused. It's processing. That's the image, and I can right click, copy image address, go back to my editor, and I'm going to insert an image. In order to insert an image, I click on image. This is the image location, which is the URL. I just right clicked and copied that address. You see the image is showing up. It's 640 wide. That's too wide. Uh, and I do want to label it. I'm a confused, confused woman. And so I'm going to make this at a, uh, we'll, we'll go at 440. I do want to constrain the image. And there is my image. And I already have a website created, so I'm not going to type all this out, but which is better? Uh, and place the image, which is better? Which is better can be a very confusing question and so on. Uh, I am going to read, leave a link below to this so you can read all this in its entirety if you want to visit the page. And again, which is better? I think I would want to make this maybe a little bit bolder, a little bigger, and put this in. And I'm clicking on red. Which is better? And I, this is a comparison site. I am comparing AIOP and Constant Contact. These are both autoresponders and more. Uh, they uh, Constant Contact recently added websites, free websites, uh, last year in 2019. So this is a pretty competitive uh, comparison in that uh, AIOP does offer a website which uh, most autoresponders do not yet offer one. Constant Content does. So that's part of the reason for this comparison. Also, I've done a little bit of keyword research prior to setting this up, and I'm going to show you the keyword research. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about it, but Constant Contact is a little easier than, uh, it's not the easiest, it's not the most difficult, but what I'm trying to draw off of is people that are searching for AIOP as well as Constant Contact, so which is better. AIOP or Constant Contact, and I want AIOP and Constant Contact to be visible when they land, when people land on the page. So what I think, again, I'm going to do here is I'm going to make that a little smaller and then make this even bigger so that they will see it and then create this in maybe a dark blue for the contrast, maybe a little dark. These are things that I can play with as far as the colors, and you can play with them if you happen to like green or whatever, uh, yellow or whatever colors you want. Of course, you can do that. And then a definite, com a definitive comparison. And what I've done here is this is the image that I've created. What I've done is I've taken this image and put it on a background. So I want to 
create new and I'm going to go with web small I can do that and background in this case I did a blue background and then I added text AIOP versus constant contact this over there I'm going to make room for an image and I'm going to add an image add image go to stock images type in phone and enter and this is uh, the, the site that I'm using to do this is Pixlr P-I-X-L-R and I can use any one of these images it's going to work this is the one that I believe that I used I'm going to add it to the current it's, I don't I don't want to I, I don't want to I do not want to create a new so I want to add it to the current and I want to shrink this down not too not so much I can't get at it shrink it a little more see where we're at shrink it a little more and there we go AIOP versus constant contact and I'm going to save it. And I OP. Okay, I've got the download. Then I go to Imgur, new post. I'm going to drag and drop the AIOP. And just like before, copy image address. Go back to my editor. Dimensions, I want to constrain. Actual is 800. I want to constrain. I'm going to go with 40. And it's not showing up, unfortunately, but it, it will show up. And why? Let me share with you why I know it's going to show up. If I'm getting an image here, it's going to show up. If I'm not getting an image here, then I have a problem. See, this image could actually send traffic to the website. So that's why I'm using this alternate text. I want to constrain. Again, 440. I know that it's working because this is showing up down here. It may or may not, and it does work on the page. AIOP versus constant contact. Next, I'm going to set up a uh, comparison of the two. Um, here I put about, about AIOP or all-in-one profits and about constant contact. And what I simply did there again is I inserted the table. And I wanted it one row and two columns, 100%, no border. Click OK. And then put in this content. Put that in there. And I'm simply copy and pasting instead of typing this in. And then how do they compare? And now I'm going to put in a table. And I want the table to show. Again, I'm going to go... I'm going to click where I want the table to go. And I'm going to go to insert. I cannot, if I go to this table, I can, I can also insert. If I go to insert, I can click on table. Okay, so I can insert either of these two ways. But if I click on table, that's not going to work. Because what I'm going to be working on again is the table the main table, the one that's already on there. I don't want to change that. So I'm going to insert or click table and insert. And I want the table to be, I want 25 rows and three columns. 100% wide. I do want the, I do want to have a border. So I'm going to actually leave this at one so that I can get this border. And there we go. We have a table. And I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but a mailing list templates. What I would recommend is to possibly to add more description. I did make a discovery about constant contact, and I'm going to share that with you in a little bit. But I do want you to, um, that is something that I want you to see because it's something that I do kind of standard procedure. I often include a review on my weight loss sites because most people don't know what they need to know about losing weight. 
And most people don't know what they need to know when it comes to comparing an autoresponder, when it comes to comparing a website. They're, they're, they're really dealing with something that they really don't, they just don't know enough about it. So even if they get all the information, they still are confused because they're dealing with something that they're really not familiar with. So it makes it very difficult to make the right choice. So the better job that you and I do actually on the comparison website, the more that we're actually helping our, our visitor. And the more we help our visitor, the better chance that we've got of them coming back to our website or our YouTube channel, whatever. And I'm going to show you how I work that in as well. Uh, again, core features, something to that effect, depending on the product. Again, you can plug in AIOP. You can plug in any old product you want here. And then the different uh, aspects. And, and what's nice about it is this is if, if, if you are comparing um, autoresponders, well, you've got pretty much got everything you need here. So all you're going to need to do is change these two columns. So the bottom part is the part that if you are using this to sell AIOP, for example, this is the part that you really want people to see. And I'm adding in AIOP and constant contact. I think I'm going to bold it a little, a little bigger. Bold a little bigger. And I think I want to do red. And you notice I did all three. I can just go right across and I can change all three to red or I can change this whole I can change this whole section. I can change everything if I want to red. But the idea is that I want I want to put AIOP back down here so that they don't mix them up so to speak because you see AIOP is way back up here and they might mix these up and think that constant contact is the one that's lower in price. And I want them to know that AIOP is considerably lower in price. It's 10 bucks a month or 20 a month, depending on whether you go basic or pro, 10 a month or 20 a month, 10 or 20, 10 or 20. And the basic uh, includes everything, everything that you need. This is something that I haven't uh, added yet and, and probably need to add. And on constant contact, I need to add. And then what is what I have here, and this is not showing up, and I don't know if, if, if you can see that, I hope. Uh, this is constant contact. So this is a uh, this is a banner or an ad for AIOP. This is a banner or an ad. It's just not showing up, but it will show up when this when this is published. Uh, this is for constant contact. So here's a chance for them to click. And complaints or reviews, and this is what I wanted to share with you because one of the things that I do, especially on weight loss, is that I will I will check out the complaints and reviews because there are unfortunately a tremendous amount of weight loss products that are pretty close to scams. So uh, there's unfortunately there's a number of products when it comes to internet marketing and so on that are kind of scamish as well, or scammy, or I don't know what the word is, but they're kind of near scams as well. This is why I usually check for complaints or reviews. I simply, uh, so if something is bad news, I want to know about it, and I want to let my readers know about it. So what I did is I went ahead and I typed in AIOP complaints. I typed in AIOP reviews. And fortunately, AIOP come up smelling like a rose. I mean, zero complaints, zero re negative reviews, all ex excellent. Uh, now, a lot of this can be manufactured, however. Uh, so when you read good stuff about AIOP, and it is great, it's fantastic, but when you read good stuff about it, uh, a lot of times it is somebody that's trying to sell you AIOP. And so, of course, it's going to be a good review, so to speak. Uh, if you read that it's a scam, you have to be careful because that can also be somebody that is trying to tell you it's a scam or it's bad news simply because they want you, it's simply because they want you to purchase their product. Now, one of the things, by the way, that you want to do is make sure that if you're comparing AIOP, that you are a member of AIOP because it, uh, and, and I'm not saying that you have to be a member, but in order to be able to make money on with AIOP, you have to be a member. In order to be an affiliate 
of AIOP, you actually have to be a member of AIOP. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm anybody that goes to AIOP, uh, they're doing themselves a major favor, and I'm doing them a favor by letting them know that it's going to compete with anything that I know of, including Constant Contact or AWeber and so on. So it's going to compete very well with with any other autoresponder or website, and it's going to end up saving them a lot of money. When it comes to the complaints and reviews, here's what I found. And AIOP, again, is coming, is looking good. Constant contact has got some negatives. Again, what I'm simply doing here is I am taking snapshots. Did not expect, and I was torn almost as to whether or not I should share this with the visitor. And I, I thought, well, they don't know, and it's my job to tell them. When you're in business for years, unfortunately, you may have a customer that you just flat cannot satisfy. And, and they've been around since 95, so they've been in business 25 years. So there's a good chance that they're going to have a couple of satisfied, undissatisfied customers because, unfortunately, you can't please everybody all the time. But scammer tool, constant contact, one star, two star, one star, absolutely stay away. Cited the website, which is complaint boards, and also the link. I want to give a brief overview of uh, All One Profits and uh, you know, maybe some of the things that it offers. And the same thing with constant contact, some of the things that it offers. But brief review, and you'll be able to read how I finish it up. But let me continue. You do not have to do about the author, but I'm doing about the author to, to make people a little bit familiar with me because part of my branding is me. So I'm kind of branding myself, but I've also got some websites that I want backlinks to. So I'm getting free backlinks to my YouTube channel as well as to the internet marketing training uh, dot com and therefore they can visit these sites and possibly uh, watch my videos, possibly become a subscriber, possibly become a member of the website and so on. Below this what I've got are uh, disclaimers or notices, notices of affiliation which basically says if, if there's a link here then I'm probably an affiliate and I may benefit in some way as far as their clicking or visiting or purchasing. So it's simply good business to do this anyways, but constant contact actually requires that you that you put a disclaimer and let people know that you are affiliated with constant contact. Whatever ones that you're comparing here, whether these are products or services or uh, websites or make sure that you're an affiliate. So if they click on constant contact if they join Constant Contact, I will have made a commission. If they join AIOP, then I will have probably made I will have made a commission. We're almost done, but we're not done. But we actually have the one of the most important parts of creating this is the is what's called on-site SEO, and that's where we're going to get into HTML source, and this is called the meta section between head and head. And we're going to put in some information right in here that's going to tell the, the this information is going to tell the search engines what this site's all about. And it's going to focus on important keywords. And I'm going to share one more thing with you uh, on the keyword research, but you're going to have to go to the next video to get to get the rest of the story, so to speak. And what I'm doing is I'm taking us to YouTube. And then I'm going to open up TubeBuddy, which is a tool that I I love. Uh, and I was, if you're on YouTube or thinking about getting on YouTube, TubeBuddy is a tool is a tool that you you definitely have to have. Uh, it's not something that you should have. You really have to have it because of what it's going to do for you, and how it's going to help you. And this is TubeBuddy right here, and I'm going to click on this, and this is a drop down of all the different things that I can do with it and I'm going to click on Keyword Explorer and I want to share with you some stuff that Constant 
contact pricing. You see what I'm getting here? 53, uh, good. Decent search volume, but you've got good competition. So in other words, I'm, you and I are not fighting with everybody in the world and we've, and we've got excellent, what they call optimization strength. In other words, the, this choice of keywords, that's the more focused that we can get on the keywords, the better the optimization strength. And the number of videos, there's 400,000 videos uh, that we're competing against, and that sounds like a lot of videos, but that's really small. Uh, that's relatively small as far as the number of videos, because a lot of times we're looking at millions of videos. Okay? Very good. Good search volume. So it's even better. Price? Look at that. Hundred thirteen thousand videos. So I'm sharing this with you because I'm going to show you how that we can how we can do this, how we can find these keywords really easy with with this particular tool. I'm going to share one other tool with you called Uber Suggest. And what that's going to do for this website, it's going to have, it's going to give us an absolute excellent, 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 excellent chance of getting traffic, getting free traffic, getting the best possible traffic. Because you, you and I both know that a lot of people are going to use that search term. And okay, look, look at the competition. So constant contact price, for example, is a, is a grand slam. So that's going to be in part two. So there'll be a link to part two as soon as uh, that video is published. So the next video, of course, is not published yet. When it is published, I'll, uh, I will include that link below. If you're subs already subscribed, you're going to get notified when that video is published. So if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, and that way you'll be notified when this when the on-site SEO video is published. I hope this video has been of benefit to you. If it has, give us a big thumbs up. That does help this video rank. And the better it ranks, the more that YouTube is going to kind of push the video out to more people. So this video is going to be able to help more people. And I do want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Allow me to wish you much success.